So that's what I get down at the storage yard when I'm trying to film. <sighs> Obviously, the driver's footwell is always the worst where I'm in and out all the time. That's not very nice down there at all. It's all this um, grass like or hay lately. Ain't grass anymore, is it? <laughs> all walking on hay. All right, so that's that done. Quick Hoover, finish now. I think. Um, I'm gonna do the bathroom. I'm gonna spray some of the bathroom stuff on it. I like that stuff, it's nice nice smelling stuff and it does the job, leaves it nice and shiny, your bathroom walls, the toilet, does a good job. This is what we always use, apart from, where is it, the, this stuff, which is, which is nice and does a good job with the tank and keeps the um, plugs and pipes nice and clear. For a lovely smell, whenever we leave the van, whenever I take the van back from wherever we've been, I always drop, I know I've probably said this in another video, but I always put a cap full of the flora down the sink or down the bath plug or down your kitchen sink. It does a great job of leaving the van. When you when you get in the van next time, you'll see when you open the door and it's, oh, lovely smell of this stuff. It does a good job, potent stuff, good gear, and you only need a little bit of it. So put a little drop down the, down your sink, let it go into the waste tank, put a little bit of water in there, and then it's lovely. So I use a, a damp microfiber cloth, I've got to wet this yet, and uh, a dry one for drying it off after. It leaves a nice finish too, streak free. Let's get some water on, because I've got some water on board. Always carry a little bit of water, you never know. get the uh, walls done first and then uh, move on to the floor last already it's uh, smelling nice and it's uh, you can't really see it on the camera but it is actually getting off um, marks when you just you know scuff yourself when you're in the shower or moving around and whatnot and it's uh, yeah does the job get it on there and get rubbing get scrubbing I should say <laughs> and then just like your home stuff really you just leave it to get in there a little bit before I start so I'll start rinsing it off it is the difficult bit with the filming ah now I know someone's going to say you want to be doing it like that you don't want to be doing it like that this is not a how to video it's a how I do video <laughs> Don't want to be doing it like that. <clears throat> you 
see that dirt there? Probably not, but I'm going to state that. See the water, see how dirty the water's getting? Not just let it get in there. It is a warm day, so it probably will dry pretty quick. Um, so I'll let it uh, get in there a bit, and then what I'm going to do is shower it off. Since it is a wet room, get all in there, everywhere. Even get the toilet in, just get it all in. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Life's too short. <laughs> okay, now I should be. Uh, I should be advising that you should be wearing gloves when you're doing this, but uh, the amount of chemicals I've used throughout my life cleaning the cars over the years, my hands are pretty shot, to say the least. Okay, it's already drying, so let's get this uh, shower on. And get rinsing. Get it all in there. Don't worry about it. Slap the place. And when that's dry, you wait and see, it really does look nice. Obviously try not to get it in your van, but it won't go. So here's just a bit of evidence here on what already looked before a quite tidy, clean and tidy bathroom, but here's Obviously it wasn't. It just goes to show what, what it builds up in here. Usually when the roof's open, it blows all sorts of things in here. Dust and grime and God knows what. And that's what the majority of that is, I reckon. Right, so let's let that drip dry a little bit more. You can already see it's uh, done a lovely job and it's smelling really nice. But uh, I'll show you the after when I uh, when it dries off a little bit, and I'll go over it with the dry microfiber. And you want, like just as an example of the uh, mirror. There. I don't know if you can see. No, can't see the drips. Well, I'll see one drip in that mirror. <laughs> Hello. I don't know if you can see it on there, but I always use microfibers for windows. It gives the best finish. Mirrors. There you go. Look at that. Like new. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, and of course, who likes a shiny tap? Because I do. That is satis job satisfaction, I'll say. Let's open the roof a little bit just to get some air in here. Dry it off a little bit quicker. And, uh, When you finally go, when you go over it with the, this dry one, it gives it that lovely finish that I like. I'm doing this at work early on a Sunday morning because it's really the only time I get that is beautiful. Nice and fresh, ready for the next journey. Okay, job done. Right, so I've just uh, switched lenses so you can get a fuller, fuller look. But, uh, sorry, better view. Lovely. Nice and shiny. Smelling lovely. 10 minute job. One damp microfiber cloth and one dry microfiber cloth for this end result.
Right, so time to get a cap full of the flora. And what I've done is, is um, I've just put a little bit of water in the bucket like that. And then a uh, cap full of it. It does all cloud up. And it, oh, wow, it really, it really is potent stuff. I think this might have already been diluted. I think I diluted that before. I'll put a little bit more in. And then swish it around. Of course it disinfects your washing up the at the same time. And then just chuck it down there. I close the uh, drain tap. And then obviously when you drive, it will swish around at the bottom of the uh, waste tank. And creates that lovely smell and at the same time disinfects it and uh, cleans it a little bit. Right, that's it. Job done. Very pleased with the outcome of the bathroom and obviously the floor that I hoovered up as well. Um, with all this uh, parched ground, this kind of like hay that you're treading in the van, not grass anymore. And it sticks to your socks or your feet when you go outside, as you know. But I thought I'd leave you with uh, a couple more tips, um, especially if you're new to motorhoming or caravanning. First tip is um, leaving, leaving your fridge on a jar like that. There's usually a little travel catch that you can operate to keep it open. Just lets the air get in and... Uh, surround your fridge uh, also try and keep it clean because in this weather any say say for instance you've had or any food with jam or get stuck at the bottom of the jar and then finds itself a tiny little bit that we can't see that ants can though and you'll avoid being inundated uh, with ants so give your fridge a little wipe over spray a bit of um, cleaner in there that bathroom cleaner will do the trick and uh, yeah, keep it nice and clean and unattractive to the ants. Second tip, somebody told me this about a year ago and said that um, he'd noticed that I'd closed. It, that was also in a heat wave, it was hot. He noticed that when I left the van, before I left the van, I shut the blinds like that. And he said, that is not a good idea, especially on hot sunny days. And um, I questioned it and said, uh, why, why would you say, why do you say that? And he says, well, because the heat gets trapped between the blind and the roof light and can, on, a, on extremely warm days, warp the edges. Because this is only plastic. And so you wouldn't want all this melting, would you, or warping. Because as soon as that happens, you'll be struggling to close, close the blinds. You don't want that plastic warping at all. So now, I've made habit of just closing the fly screen. Both of them when I leave. So yeah, I think that's a good tip. And it actually makes sense. Trapping the heat between the, between the, uh, sorry, the blind and the light. It can get real hot in there. And don't want it warping the, uh, warping the edges. And if that happens, then, you know, like I said, it's gonna be difficult to open and close them and also open them if all this is warped. Good tip, thank you very much. I've always remembered that one. So that's what I get down at the storage yard when I'm trying to film. <laughs> so verdict, do I think if this wonderful stuff is really worth it? Yes, I do, most definitely. And also don't forget, cleans your fridge too. So that's about it. Thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll hope to see you again soon in the next video.